guests this morning. Uh, you've endorsed Donald Trump for president. Mm -hmm. uh, judges and two separate juries have found him liable for rape and for defaming the victim of that rape. How do you square your endorsement of Donald Trump with the testimony we just saw? Well, I will tell you, I was raped at the age of 16. Um, and any rape victim will tell you, I've lived for 30 years with a, an incredible amount of shame over being raped. I didn't come forward because of that judgment and shame that I felt. And um, it's a shame that you will never feel, George. And I'm not going to sit here on your show and be asked a question meant to shame me about another uh, potential rape victim. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. It's, it's actually not about shaming you. It's a question about no, Donald you Trump. are shaming. You've me. endorsed Donald Trump for president. Right. Donald Trump has been found liable for rape by a jury. Donald Trump has been found liable for defaming the victim of that rape by a jury. It's been affirmed by a judge. It was he not a criminal the, court case. Was, number one. Number two, I live with shame. And you're asking me a question about my political choices, trying to shame me as a rape victim. And I find it disgusting. And quite frankly, E. Jean Carroll's comments when she did get the judgment, joking about what she was going to buy, it doesn't, it, it makes it harder for women to come forward when they make a mockery out of rape, when they joke about it. Doesn't it's not, it make it harder okay. for women to come forward when they It makes it harder when other women candidates. joke about it. And she's joked about it. I find it offensive. And I also find it offensive that you're trying to shame me with this question. I'm not trying to shame you. Are. Well, in fact, I, I have dealt with this for 30 years. You know how hard it was to tell my story five years ago when they were doing a fetal heartbeat bill and there were no exceptions for rape, incest or, or in, rape or incest in there? I had to tell my story because no other woman was coming I'm forward. No rape victims were represented. And you're trying to shame me this morning. I'm just asking and I find it offensive. And this is why women won't come forward. Women won't come forward because they're defamed by those who perpetrate rape. Donald they Trump are judged and they're shamed. And you're trying to shame me this morning. I'm, I'm I think not, it's disgusting. I'm not shaming you at all. I, I told my story. It took me 25 years to tell my story. I was judged for it. I still get judged for it today. I'm asking you a very simple question. In advocating for autonomy and authenticity, Representative Nancy Mace emphasizes the significance of personal experiences and political decisions. She champions the freedom of individuals to choose and define their essence without fear of judgment. Mace's defense of the right to support politicians without shame underscores her commitment to individual freedom. Her exchange with ABC's George Stephanopoulos critiques the tendency to impose collective moral judgments on individual choices, portraying it as a threat to freedom and authenticity. This stance reflects conservative values centered on individualism and the challenges individuals encounter within society. Mace delves into the deeply personal and socially constructed emotions surrounding shame, particularly concerning issues like sexual assault, highlighting how societal norms can exacerbate individual suffering and impede authentic living. By addressing how public scrutiny and media inquiries perpetuate cycles of shame and silence, among victims, Mace prompts reflection on the intersection of truth, perception, and societal expectations. Her defense of supporting Donald Trump despite criticisms underscores the notion that individuals must navigate conflicting narratives and societal values, acknowledging the ethical dimensions of their actions. Mace's willingness to confront public scrutiny demonstrates a belief in personal responsibility aligning with conservative principles regarding accountability and the weight of individual choices.